Hi and very welcome on board of the Fokker 100. My name is Matt. Today we are going to meet one of the coolest pilots ever. Together we go through the outside click and then make a detailed visit to the cockpit. It's very exciting to see how the crew prepares the flight. Terrain. Pull up. I also had the exclusive opportunity to ask the pilot some questions. I hope you will enjoy the video. We're gonna set out now the fuel. Okay. Basically, we have the everything is in in, in the pounds. Okay. A little bit different. It came from American Airlines, this plane. So that was the main reason. How old is this plane? It's from 1992. 1992, yes. wow. Yes, old lady, still flying. Very cool. Going great. Going vertical. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I'll take up the pins. Also, my mechanic will remove it. It's yeah. from now on, as we're flying with a flight mechanic, he will do it. Check out the brakes. Grow the tires. Everything is fine. It's a ladybug okay. for the luck. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now my colleague will start the APU, so it's going to pump up a little bit the sound. Okay, that's great. These are the Rolls Royce tie engines. Yeah. Tie 650-15. Very nice engines, a lot of power. The same one. Just like on the Gulfstream 450, we like it. Oh yeah, so very much. Really fast. Yeah, Sounds like real jet. Best engine music, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Static ports. Yep. It's made for very precision flying. Oh, it. Yeah, okay. We did it. Okay. This is the captain for waves. So, Mr. Matt. So basically, now we're gonna do a little bit uh, preparation for the flight. This one is ferry one, so we are capable to do it really fast and effective. Yeah. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is one of the coolest pilots ever. And so we are going to have a look inside the Fokker 100. That's right. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Thank you. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. Transition ready. 7 to 0. In clear to liberate. Right after. A lot of papers. But basically, it's mandatory to have all this paperwork. Today's flight, the Joachim will fly this flight. He will be pilot flying, I will be pilot assisting. It's a nice opportunity to fly here. Uh, the runway is only 1,700 meters. Is That's this right. uh, it's, it's a problem enough. or is this no. more difficult? No, it's not a problem. This plane has got really nice performances and we don't have issues with that. The only issues with uh, if you have full plane and a uh, long flight, basically it's really tight. But, you know, as always, we, uh, we calculate performances on every flight and especially with the density, temperature and situation by the weight. So we got some special departures and basically it's always done by the book. Bratislava. And can you quickly say something about the flaps position? Okay, so basically a lot of people, I know a lot of people from aviation asking why we have 
flaps zero and departure. Now these days exactly, planes, yeah. planes are designed to fly with the flaps 10 or 5 or depends about the type, Airbus or the Boeing. But for the Focke 100 it's designed to go with the flapless position. The biggest deal is we don't have slats, we have like clean wing. Uh, so mostly with the best performances for the climb, not for the takeoff runway available but just for the climb and rotation is uh, go with the flap zero okay and cool. like mostly like 95 percent of our flights if we got short runway we are heavy we'll put the flaps eight we can also use it with flaps 15 but like 95 percent of our flights is flap zero flapless departure so we have really nice climb gradient and uh, climb performances well we that's... don't degrade that uh, it's a little bit strange in these days to fly like that but we have really really good performance with it and also it's done even before, a lot of pilots from uh, era of the 90s flew Focke 100 and they are really familiar with that. But as you know, a lot of questions from the people around the world asking why you, they don't use the flaps exactly, yeah. or something wrong with that. Or something exactly, like. it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's done, it's really good one. It flies really nicely without the flaps, the wing is really effective and really fast. Cool, thank you so much for You're explaining. Welcome. So basically we will do preparation of Joachim did a lot of stuff. Now I will just to reset some stuff and that's it. Smoke test. Smoke test check. Thank you. Warning system. Glide slow. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain. Glide slope. Bank angle. Bank angle. 2500. 1000. 500. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Too low. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. 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 Pull up. Yeah. So you have set the altitude to 9,900 For now, no, it's yes. now on standby. It means 9,900 that uh, basically we don't have the clearance yet. Okay. The yes. speed stays like 200. It's an initial point of 40 Avcas from the Focke 100. Okay. 9,900 means only that we don't have still the altitude set up ah. for the SID. We, don't, we didn't get a clearance yet. Okay, yeah, okay. Now we will set here in my ACP. We will set a single engine, uh, single engine altitude. So so it's like 1,000 above the above the uh, airfield, airfield elevation. So if I remember well, airfield is like 2,000, uh, 1,700 feet. So like 2,700 feet will be single engine acceleration. Very altitude. cool. Okay. 1,000 feet above the ground. Okay. So basically, every flight is cal calculating if we uh, lose the if you lose one engine, also as a V1 stabilized runway. We got some serious software going on with that. Before this software we've been using only the charts, it's a lot of paperwork, this is going really easily now with us. 
it's really nice to have this kind of gadget in aviation. Very cool, great. Also, we are creating our own lochets. So before, before some era, like a few years ago, we've been creating it manually. Yes. Just like in the 70s, oh. 80s. Now these days we have really nice stuff. It's a digital yeah. one. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, beautiful. it's really nice. Oh, wow. Especially for my colleague. He's yeah. always making it. Yeah. Yes. And I will I check it. it up. He loves it. That's, that's great. Just yeah. to Still make it manual. Here. It's and always uh, aviation. I think in uh, other modern aircraft it's all digital. Meanwhile, um, yeah, in Fokker 100, you still have some paperwork. That's yes, very we have cool. some still paperwork. It's like glory days of aviation. And I don't know, who knows? Maybe one day we'll return back to the basics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. So, 59.4. Now we are making a cross talk about the weight, actual weight. So we have 32,199. 32,191 CG 27.4%. Now we weight inside of the calculation. Okay, that's great. That's for calculating the uh, view. That's, that's right, the uh, yeah, okay. reference okay. points. The reference points, Refer yeah. mm -hmm. Performances for departure. And basically we will now get the speeds, take of distance and how much we're gonna need it for departure. Okay. Uh, today you are flying empty, it's a ferry flight. That's right, we are really no light. Passengers on board. 32 tons, we have like maximum takeoff weight is like 44, 450, so almost 45 tons. Yeah. With the maximum Margin. landing weight is uh, a little bit less than uh, 40 tons. Yeah. So now we are really light, we can uh, flex, so we can reduce our power for like flex 57. So it means we will uh, derate our engines just to take care of them. Basically, it's really, really nice plane to fly, and it's it's done for the pilots. It's not fly by wire. Everything uh, we can. Uh, it's also capable for the auto land. It's capable for Category 3A landing. It's got a lot of gadgets from the 90s, and you can see it's quite simplified. But it's it's really designed to be a flyable plane for the pilots. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. And uh, wishing you a very nice flight then. It will be this one is really easily. I will wait very close to the fence. Very good. And film the takeoff uh, when you depart from runway one four. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very. We're gonna, we're gonna be close. It. We're gonna be close. At least we're gonna we can wave you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Without very, not with the wings, we will do it with the yeah. wings. <laughs> I'll be there. Very cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> always very cool. Yeah. yeah it will be. <laughs> always very cool to get away from the pilots. Ah, uh, it's always very cool to come to the burn. <laughs> it's really nice airfield. A lot of flying, a lot of general aviation. We love it. Like yesterday we took a ride also here in the Bern with the small planes with the Cup this. Oh, super it's, cool, wow. Yeah, it's really beautiful sight to see, especially with the uh, orography all around, uh, with the hills. And uh, it's really nice flying. Wow, but nice to hear. We've here really serious aviation going on. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Yeah. I think the lady is waiting for yeah. me now. No, no, I will come, need about need... five minutes to drive to the fence now. And See you another but time. Have a good care. flight. Take Thank care. you so much. See you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.